I suppose you know where the wipes are, do you? Dev usually keeps them over here with the nappies and the bog roll. You're asking the wrong man. It's just everything's been moved. Dev's popped out. Is that right? Well, lucky for him that you're not a shoplifter, eh? How's Nikki doing? Have you seen her today? Uh, yeah, she's loads better. And no, I won't. In fact, I won't be seeing her full stop. Why, you two have fallen out? No, nothing like that. Then what? I thought I saw you heading in. Jeff, pleasant surprise. Two for the price of one. I've been thinking that one of you two must know where my money is, but you're not letting on. So come on, let's hear it. Which one is it? You're unusually quiet. Oh, well, yeah, Grace was funny with me yesterday, that's all. Funny? I think she still doesn't trust me, which I get why I've not exactly got the best track record of sticking around. Oh, right, and she does. It's fine, it's fine, because as of today, I'm following a strict policy of sticking to the positives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here in town, I call me daddy. I mean, it felt like everything just fell into place. I suddenly know what I'm supposed to be. Most magical moment in a man's life when he hears his kids say that. You make sure you treasure every moment with her. Yeah, I intend to, which is why I'm spending my underworld bonus on doing something very special for her and Grace. Hold up. Bonus? So when I hit target and became top salesman? You're joking. <laughs> oh, it's not that much of a shock. No! No, I'm just really proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I'm proud of me, too. Ah, so this is something special uh, you're talking about. What we say in day out, holiday, car for your old man. <laughs> Beer at lunchtime and you can see with your own eyes. Still got a mum cab here. Uh, tell me about it. Any news when she'll be back? Oh, not until your Auntie Irene's recovered from her hip hop. Sooner ahead of me, can't stand the old boot. Right, well, I guess it's just you then. I'm off. Don't be late. All right. Obviously, you flash lawyer types are used to throwing wads of cash around. Snorting it up your nose, I shouldn't wonder. But for us humble grafters, we're talking a serious lump of money here. I know that. And I told you, I'm sorry. But like I said, if you'd left it in the office, it would have been fan banner. Unless someone did a runner with it. I told you, no one else came in after you. What about you? What about me? You've no idea what happened to it? Do you not think that I would have said something by now? What about Alia? Last I heard, she was your number one suspect. Oh, she'd like nothing better than to screw me over, but no, it can't have been her. How'd you know that? Well, I've been over it in my head. I always hang my jacket up when I get to speed dial. I don't remember the money being in my pocket when I got there, but it definitely was when I arrived at yours. Now, even by my magical standards, that's an impressive vanishing act. Listen, as interesting as this is, I have to go. Bertie's got this online sing-along thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Heaven forfend that this should take priority over a kiddie's sing-along. Well, there's now tells for it. I'll have to report it. What, to the police? Well, what choice have I got? And when they investigate, they'll be all over your offices like a rash. So you keep your guys run out of change. Oh, I wouldn't go flashing that around if I were you. You never know who's watching. Oh, no, of course. Doesn't it hurt about your money still? Still no show? Strangely, no. I've met a wall of silence. Till later. You know, I'd say poor guy, but it'd be a lie. Just as well as I've got my eye in the sky. How do you mean? CCTV, man. But you wish you had one now, yeah? Morning. I uh, thought I'd make you a bit of a fry up. Oh, no, Tar. I promised Nick I'd help him drum up some new buyers, so. Oh, well, um, get your coffee then. I'd rather have it there. Carla, love, look, please, just wait. Can we. Can we at least just talk about this, please? No, you know what? I don't want to talk about this because then I might say something that I really mean, like you did yesterday. Oh, come on, look, that was a stupid slip of the tongue. No, I don't think it was. I think deep down you really do blame me for sleeping with Jordan. What? No, I don't. Yeah, you did. And you've thought it for ages. Just, you've just plucked up the courage to tell me. That's not true. Mm. Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Well, wanted's a bit of an overstatement. Just going somewhere, because I'm in a rush. Poster gave me that. Ooh, for me. 
now for Adam. A little too boring even for post. You all right? I think I'll be used to it by now. What, me winding you up? Me and Adam being over keeps hitting me. Oh. Well, if you want to swerve it, I don't mind dropping it off to him later. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll sooner do it. Right, I'm going to have to go, though, because Nick is so stressy at the moment. Yeah, hardly surprising, isn't it, given everything that's going on with Oliver? Yeah, I suppose. What do you mean, suppose? What else has he got to be stressed about? Yeah, I just don't know. Um... No, I, I, there's something I don't know about, isn't there? What is it? Don't make me give you a Chinese burn. Right, if I tell you, you have to swear not to breathe a word. Blimey, this is serious. Look, swear. All right, I swear. What is it? Be kind. Okay. Wow. Note to self, don't make hummus again. <laughs> Nikki! How's Sonny Lytham? Why not? Yeah? Yeah, sure, I can meet you at the, at the gardens just when you come out from the tram stop. Okay. See them. Nick's got a kid. Nine years old, and he's called Sam. Why me? What's Leanne said? That can't have been an easy conversation. Well, it's not been a conversation because he hasn't told her. She doesn't know. Well, no, he says that he can't because it, it's too much for her to take on. <sighs> well. Got a point, to be honest. I mean, what about Natasha? Is she all right with that? Well, yeah, apparently. But now he's saying he's not even going to see this boy because it wouldn't be fair on the app. No wonder he's stressed. Yeah, well, I'm saying I think he's mad because, yes, it would be really, really hard on the app, but he could, it's his child. He can't just walk away from him. Yeah, it's not really any of our business, though, is it? I mean, if, if he didn't want to see him, it's his choice. I know it's short notice, but I, I really need you to be there. Uh, well, it's a, it's a surprise for you and Tiana. You will bring her, right? Yeah. No, I can't tell you now. Just just be there, okay? All right. All right, okay. Uh, bye. I'll see you later. Wait. Hey! Bet you didn't expect to see me again this soon. I'm delighted to, though. Shouldn't you be on your way to Lytham, though? We're off this afternoon. I couldn't go without saying thank you again. Well, you're welcome, again. Seriously, no one I got a future for the first time and I don't know how long that wouldn't have happened without the money you gave me. Well, after everything you did for me, it's the least I owed you. Thing is, I feel bad about taking it all, so... I want you to have what's left. Oh. I take it one of them is definitely not for me. Oh, yeah, because Carla would love that, wouldn't she? Me and you having secret little coffees together. Wouldn't she just? How are you? Oh, you know, so-so. How about you? <laughs> Desperately groveling to Kevin for making an absolute twazzock of himself, but now that you were there. How's, how's you and Carla? Oh, yeah, brilliant. I mean, she's not actually speaking to me, but apart from that, yeah. I can't believe I was such an idiot. Well, what am I saying? Of course I can. Well, look, it's not just about me and you. Last night, things between us, they got a bit heated. And... I said a few things I shouldn't have said to her. But it's fixable, yeah? Well, yeah, it'll blow over, if the wind's in the right direction. And in the meantime, how are you coping? What do you mean, do I want a drink? Oh, you know, I'll always want a drink. Well, that's why I'm going to a meeting later. Good. Because I hate myself enough as it is, and if I thought I'd made you realize. No, you didn't. You haven't. Don't worry about me. Just concentrate on sorting things out with you and Kev, all right? I better shoot. So I'll see you in a bit. Right. I don't understand. There's still loads of you. Yeah, well, if I was a better person, I'd be giving you all back. Why? Because you should be spending it on Bertie, not me. 
Bertie's fine. This has got nothing to do with Bertie. Look, I used most of it, okay? I had to. But from now on, I want to stand on my own two feet instead of some fella shelling out for everything. That's all I am to you. Some fella. Uh, says the guy who called me some sex worker. I should go. No, you don't just get to throw this back in my face. You've got no idea what I had to do to get this. What did you do? Well, that doesn't matter, does it? The point is, it's done now, so you have to take it. it so you bunger me that money gives you the right to order me around. Bye, Daniel. Nikki, wait. <sighs> OK, I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Maybe it was thoughtless of me giving you this money. No. No, it was. Thought I could ride in on my white charger like Gandalf the Grey. Look to my coming at first light on the fifth day. You're an idiot. Yeah, has been noted. <laughs> I love that you wanted to help me. If you had, didn't well. Well, I don't even want to go there. But you've done enough. I've got this from here. Anyway, Bertie's your priority. OK. I really do have to go. But if you're ever in Lytham, look me up. Oh, yeah, it's like right up there on my list of places to visit. <laughs> See you around, yeah? did my best. It's not easy getting up and down scaffolding at my age. So come on, where is this special present for Grace and Tiana, then? Here. I'm gonna ask Grace to marry me. You think she'll like it? You spent all your bonus on this? Yeah, well, what's wrong with it? Nothing. It looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? So, you happy for me? Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Yes. Since Grace and Tiana have come back into my life, you know, things have really changed for me. And I need to show Grace that there's nothing more important than me taking care of her and my little girl. And this shows that. Then I'm really, really happy for you. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, let's celebrate. No, 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 not yet. I, I don't want to jinx it. Not until I've asked her. Oh, when are you going to ask her? In about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah I've, I've asked him to come over. What's the matter with you? Look at the state of the place. Clean the cans up. Your mum would go mad. Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry to bother you. Um, it's just that this came for you this morning. Sorry. I thought I told everyone I moved out. That's no biggie. So, how are you? Be a lot better if I didn't have Jeff on my case. Jeff? Trust me, you don't want to know. Is there anything important? It's a brochure for the holiday where we're going to take Harry on. To that land. Oh, it looks amazing. He'd have loved it. Yeah, he really would have. Oh, well, no use to us now, eh? I guess not. Right, well, um... Yeah, I should let you get back to it, so... Sarah. Thanks for dropping off. Chris, not here yet. Not unless she's under the sofa. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, this is my curry from the other night. Uh, I thought Grace might like. Dad, your leftovers from the fridge. Oh, that'll create a great impression. No, no, this, this is what you should be serving. Oh, no, we're talking. Mm, last one from Dev's. I'll get some glasses. Uh, hang on, not those ones, all the posh ones there. Oh. <laughs> I got a few extra bits as well. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cheesy strings. Uh, well, they're for Tiana. 
strawberry yo yo. Yeah, they're mine. Oh, oh. oh and I also got this one. Ah, uh, see, it's got a little plastic ring on it. See, see? I thought I could give it to Jenna so she could have a little ring on her finger as well. What? Yeah, okay, stupid idea. She could choke on it. No, 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 it's not that at all. I just don't think I've ever been as proud to be your dad as I am right now. Grace is going to be lucky to have you. Doors open! Hey. You've been cooking again? Yeah, I thought I'd try and make some hummus for Bertie's tea. Bad idea. Don't have any cracks in your walls you need filling, do you? Because this stuff would be sensational. I think Ed's your man for that. Talking about it, boy. Where is he? Uh, he's spending the day with Kirk. I thought you were doing some sing-along thing. Uh, no, it got cancelled. Can I get you anything? Tea? Coffee? Hummus? I'm good, thank you. Just thought I'd swing by and give you the latest on Jeff. And drop off your wet wipes. You're left without them. Oh, cheers for that. Sorry for just dumping Jeff on you. No, no, you were right to scarper. her. At one point, I thought the guy was going to land one on me. You can't seriously be blaming you. He still had the minute he left the money in the office. Even by my magical standards, that's an impressive vanishing act. I'd like to vanish him. So what? It's our word against his? Well, not quite. Keep us to yourself, but uh, I'm going to check through the CCTV. That way, I can prove he's talking rubbish. CCTV? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but... Imran installed a camera in the office ages back. Completely forgot about it. So I'll check through the footage tonight, and that way we can shut that gargoyle Jeff up. See ya. See ya. Sorry. Any chance of a quick word? As long as it's short and sweet. Look, I know I'm the last person you want to see. Actually, can I stop you there? You know, if this is going to be a grovelling apology for flinging yourself at my fella, please don't bother. See, I thought you might say that. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, cos I saw Peter and he sort of mentioned that you and him weren't talking. But apparently the two of you are. Carla, listen to me. The only mistake Peter made was being kind to me. I was the one who tried to take things further, but only cos I was such a mess. No, no. Nearly. You two, you're great. Don't let a waste of space like me ruin things for you both. God knows I've messed up enough relationships in my time. Don't add this to the list. Right, now I'm done. OK, look, Abby, maybe you were the one to instigate things, but, you know, people make mistakes. I do more than most. But Peter knows he wasn't blameless. And if I can't trust him, what good are we? Well, you can trust him. I haven't finished. Sorry. No, you know, you know what? You, maybe Peter was stupid to help me. But you keep pushing him away and there's only one place he's going to go and it ain't to me. It's the bottle. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and I'll tell you something else. When my relationship sit with skids, I always blame someone else and all. But maybe me and Peter aren't to blame here. Maybe it's you. There she is. Hiya, love. Hiya. Oh, is Jenna not with you? Oh, no, she's got a bit of a funny tummy. Is she all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. I just left her at my friend Lisa's. Oh, I'm surprised she still wanted to come over. Yeah, well, I didn't want to let Michael down, did I? But I shouldn't stay too long. Oh, are we celebrating? Yeah, champagne's in the fridge. Oh, champagne? Uh, no, that, that was for after. Uh, after what? Um, you know, I got my bonus yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to treat you and Tiana to something special. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's a comet for Tiana. Oh, right. Yeah, it's got a, uh, a plastic ring on it. There. See? Oh, uh, I'm not going to give it to a choking hazard and all that. Wait, I'm sorry. This is what you spent your bonus on? I know. No, no, no. Um, I wanted to make sure she didn't miss out. I wanted her to have a ring as well. As well as who? As well as you. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, Michael, wait. Grace, I love you. Please, will you do me the honour of being my wife? Why? Why are you doing this now? Yeah, yeah, I know. I should have done it when you were pregnant, but when we were pregnant, but I want to make it up to you now. Well? You're two years too late. What? I'm sorry. I, I can't marry you.
You're looking for something? A camera, maybe? There is no camera. I know this looks bad. You're nothing but a common thief. And on top of that, you lied to my face. I'm sorry. It's not like I planned this, you know. The money was just there. What, so you stole it? I guess this is for her, Nikki. I was always going to give it back to him. Sooner than I expected, actually, as it turns out. What does that mean? It means that she wouldn't take it all. She's giving it me back. Is that right? Well, that says more about her than you. Why don't I just tell Jeff that I found the envelope in a bin and that I don't know what happened to the rest of the money? Yeah, because he's really going to believe that. Where's the money now? Back at the flat. Adam, I'm so sorry. You need to go back to the flat, get that money, and bring it here right now. And what are you going to do? I'm going to figure out how to salvage what's left of my business and keep you out of prison. All right, mate, what brings you here? We've had a report from Jeff that his money was stolen whilst he was in this office. Stolen? You mean mislaid? Not according to him, no. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to come with me to the station. No, nah, nah, no chance. We're not going anywhere. Not until you show us some kind of proof. Well, in that case, I've got no choice but to arrest you both on suspicion of theft. You what? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given evidence. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.